Hi, today we're going to talk about trochantic bursitis, commonly known as hip bursitis. Hip bursitis presents with pain on the side of the hip, often spreading down the outside of the thigh, and it can uh, look a lot like IT band syndrome. A lot of people confuse the two. It tends to be associated with periods of overuse resulting in inflammation and pain aggravated by movement of the hip. There are many bursa in the body and these small fluid filled sacs are positioned in areas where bone and soft tissue can rub together. So the bursa act to reduce friction between these structures. And in the hips case, the trochanteric bursa is situated on the outside of your hip by a part of your hip bone called the greater trochanter. And it helps to reduce friction between this part of the bone and the soft tissue that attach to it. And one of those soft tissues are the IT band. So that's why it can mimic IT band syndrome. Symptoms usually get worse when walking or running or putting pressure on it. Increased activity, um, muscular tightness, and poor biomechanics can also contribute to bursitis. So it is really important that all of these factors are investigated to understand the cause of your inflammation in case of bursitis. Perhaps maybe you went on a hike during a holiday or took up some jogging. Um, maybe you started a new team sport or even a fall. You can fall on that side of the hip. But uh, either way, treating your bursitis needs to begin with reducing those activities that provoke your pain. You may need to find other ways to exercise during this period. Some people will require uh, a walking aid for a short period of time in severe cases just to reduce the effort placed on their hip or the pressure placed on their hip. It's good to wrap some ice in a damp towel and position it over the outside of your hip for 10 to 15 minutes and this will help settle the inflammation. Make sure you monitor your skin to ensure the ice does not burn. Self massage or even a foam rolling to the tissues on the side of your hip and down your thigh can help to address any tension in these areas and ease some of the bursitis pain. Be careful with uh, foam rolling that can aggravate it sometimes. There's other soft tissue uh, tools like gua sha stones and medical grade stainless steel devices like rock blades or Graston or any other cheaper version you can find online will do. There are other effective treatments for stubborn cases and that includes cold laser therapy to reduce inflammation. Medication isn't usually needed long term, but you may find the use of oral non-steroidal anti-inflammatories or painkillers to help uh, manage your symptoms. Typically though, medication provides only temporary relief as the bursitis pain could come back after a short period of time. You may have been given exercises to stretch the tissues contributing to your hip bursitis irritation, such as those around your buttocks, your hips, and your thighs. In order to improve the efficiency with which your muscles work as a team, strengthening exercises may be added to your program. Balance and control work can help to improve the efficiency with the use of your body. So when you're walking, being able to engage the protagonist and antagonist muscles helps to reduce unnecessary loading on certain areas. Work with your chiropractor or physical therapist to establish goals for your rehabilitation. This will ensure your recovery will carry you through to get you back to doing what you love most. Now, surgery is not required for bursitis, but an MRI should be done if there's no improvement after six weeks. Thank you guys so much. If you got anything from this video, or even if you just like this view of the Empire State Building and the Chrysler Building, give me a like and don't forget to subscribe. Appreciate you guys.